Stephen and Carolyn, you said it best, certainly amazing. A lot of people are grateful for his decision, but also tonight I'm learning a lot of people are scared and fearful about being an organ and tissue donor, but of course that was not Colin Rose. We're here at headquarters. He spent many days, weeks, and years walking through these doors, and tonight, like you said, he's helping and saving dozens and dozens of families. Remembering a hero who continues to give the ultimate gift. On the wall, other heroes and their stories of looking out for others. Dory Dills with Gift of Life and Diana Kern with Eversight. Tell Action News, Wayne State Canine Officer Colin Rose will save or enhance more than 70 lives. He made the choice to be an organ and tissue donor. Officer Rose um, gave so much to the community in life. And I think it's just a testament to the type of person he was. Today, the Michigan Donor Family Council, Donor Families, gave the Wayne State Chief and his officers a check in honor of the 29-year-old. They, too, touched by his sacrifice. Right now, there are more than 4 million Michiganders on the registry. More than 3,500 are currently waiting for a transplant. Most of them are looking for a kidney. They too can be a hero just like Officer Rose and they can sign up in the Michigan Donor Registry and say yes to organ and tissue donation. Rose was shot and killed on November 22nd on the job, checking an area after a rash of car break-ins. Like that night, he showed no fear and organizations hope Michiganders will do the same and sign up. In death, he also is a hero because he gave the gift of tissue and organ donation. So you should think about that. As most of us know, Colin Rose's killer is still on the run tonight. There is a reward, more than $32,000 for any information leading to the arrest and conviction of that shooter. For now, we're live in Detroit, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. All right, Aaron, thank you so much for that live report. That's a